what's going on guys and welcome again to a new video. We all know heroes are usually the protagonists in most of the stories. However, not all main characters are good guys and some of them are straight villains. As deceitful as it may sound, any manga or manhua with villain main character allows readers to understand how the inside of a villain's head works and maybe readers can even empathize or agree with such a wretched ideals. In either way, we have come up to you with a big list containing more than 20 of the best manhua featuring villains as the main characters. So click the link below and visit our website so you can find all type of manhwas and villains that you like. But if you're too lazy to do that, we got for you covered the top 10 manhwa where the main character is a villain. So without any further ado, let's get into it already. Starting with Nebu Jen, I get stronger the more I eat. This manhwa centers around Mr. Kim, or also known as Pet Shop. He possesses a rare ability to absorb the abilities of animals that he consumes. Pet Shop is inexplicably transferred into a mystical land teeming with orcs, trolls, and monsters, and he is now on a mission to become the most powerful creature in that particular world. This is a very intriguing manhwa. It defines several standard narrative twists associated with this sort of fiction, and the main character is utterly wicked, which is not unpleasant. The narrative is interesting. You can't really guess what will happen next, but you know it will be badass. The graphic might be a little more flashy at times, but it's still a lot of fun to read. Moving on to the number 9, Dear X. This manga features the well-known actress A. Jean Beek as the villain main character. She possesses everything. She's a stunning award-winning actress and the public adores her. And she is to announce her engagement on the night of the award presentation. However, a news program revealed the depravity underneath A. Jean's sparkling facade. Overall, the art of this story is gorgeous and Aegean was, was depicted so nicely. She is in fact a demon dressed as an angel. The plot will just keep you interested. It's insane, not very realistic, but quite amusing. You'll either adore or despise the main character. In either way, she's striking and memorable, and you'll definitely remember her as a character. Overall, it's one of the best psychological thrillers, and the narrative is a bittersweet and thrilling, so definitely worth your try. Moving on from a psychopathic theme to one of the best comedy manuals you can read, talking here about the number 8 and and save. The villain here is the hero and the hero is the villain. A fantasy narrative set in the current day that follows the pranks of a villain, his aid and their underlings. This manual where the main character is a villain is just incredible. The art, writing, storyline and characters are all fantastic. One of the finest dynamics between the two major characters. Their backstories are also quite intriguing. Despite the fact that the majority of the series is a comedy, all of the characters are well developed and engaging. All I have to say is that you should certainly read this. It is much, much too underappreciated. Or just move on to the number 7, FFF Glass Trash Hero. So what happens when you throw a hesitant soul into a game and try to lead him? You receive exactly what you deserve. The main character of this manhwa is adorably veiled, despite the fact that the craftsmanship is somewhat oversimplified. You can overlook it effectively for all the incredible unexpected developments and turns that leave you revealing, giggling and sympathizing with the manhwa's hero. This is an isekai manhwa with the main character is a villain. We have to propose it to you regardless of your perspective because we are aware that people think in a different ways. So if you don't like it, just move on to the number 6 already. We're talking here about how to live as a villain. Song Yoon has unexpectedly slipped into another room to compete in a game to become a god. This other universe, which is similar to a game, features players that collaborate as well as slaughter each other in a cold blood. Song Goon, a player with no talent, employs devious and vulgar techniques to become an all-powerful gamer. This is overall a good story to read. The art is fantastic and the main character does what he believes is necessary while being an utter beast. He isn't concede in a phony sense and he isn't the pure evil type of monster. The characters are strong enough to let the reader believe that the novel's author made an attempt and the plot has a lot of promise, so this is a must read. 
Moving on to the number 5 already, as you wish, Prince. This story is about a well-known author of a fantasy series, Yu Su, Imperial Prince in Zen Kate, the worst villain she invented, has taken her into the room of her new narrative just as she's ready to begin work on a new series. So, can she convert this nightmare into a novel that will change their fate? Well, you should read and find out. This is overall a fantastic story where the main character is an antagonist. The author differentiate it from the normal transmigration Esekai stories by having the main character Vaser, an author abducted by the main character of her work. So this is a pretty good read that was certainly original to itself and did not follow the most of the tropes that most villain stories do. And if that does not satisfy your hunger for a villain main character, just move on to the number 4, Hero Killer. This manual is about a girl who is endowed with the supernatural abilities. Alone she embarks on a brutal road for vengeance against the inequities of the world in which she lives. With frequent confrontations between titans, no one is secure in a world where wars between heroes and villains erupt. Unlike other superhero stories, the antagonists in this story are the heroes, and the major topic is how they exploit their power to murder and brutalize civilians. Overall, it's a great fantasy read with excellent explanation of the superpowers and the characters. The art is lovely and the tale is intriguing, so don't put it off any longer and start reading it right now. But before you do that, let me tell you about the number 3 on this list. I woke up as the villain. This man was a cross of the omniscient reader's viewpoint, trash of the Count's family and solo leveling. And goes on an orphan guy awakens as a rich villain in a narrative he was reading and intended to use his money and influence to survive his character's death and enjoy a happy life as a wealthy man. He has the capacity to fast level up and pick the curiosity of the gods who keep an eye on this strong individuals around him. Does that remind you of something? So yeah, this manhwa is really a mix between omniscient reader's viewpoint and trash of the Count's family. So if you like either series, then certainly you will appreciate this one. The art is extremely nicely done and the plot is becoming more fascinating as time goes on. So it's a terrific read that's certainly worth a go. And if that is not your cup of tea, then just move on to the number 2 on this list. The villainous turns the whole glass. Slightly this manhwa is just a dove to see. The main character and her sister are entangled in a battle inside the family. Our main character for endurance and retribution, the sister out of envy. This prompts a large group of plans, including, however not restricted to, sending house cleaners as spies, attacking one another, and devouring to take the life back attempting to destroy each other's social standing and attempting to intrigue the dead of the family. This is overall a good story. Not that complex if you're familiar with the whole villainous stories, but instead, this does let it be more serious though, since the main character was a bad person and did get her head cut off, and that has traumatized her. Overall, if you enjoy political intrigue, ruthless female characters, or power struggles between different factions, then this is definitely for you. And we already reached the number one on this list, your throne. Lady Media Salon has lost his place next to Crown Prince Heroes, but resolved to do whatever it will take to win back what's rightfully hers. So will she reclaim her throne? I guess we should all read and find out. Generally this story is pretty good. The author has thought out every twist and turn brilliantly. The main character Media is a genius of strategy and manipulation, and every chapter has your own the edge of your seat. The relationships between characters are never generic, so this story feels really unique. And if you are a fan of strong female characters, strategy and revenge, then this manhwa is definitely and absolutely the one for you. And there you have it, a top 10 manual list featuring the villains as the main characters. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you do your things and click like, share and subscribe to the channel. Give us a comment because that will help us understand you. And of course, don't forget to visit our website, oneotaco.com, because there's more there. And by there, thanks for watching and see you on the next one.